Speaking of delicious, are you, are you hunting at all? Yes. This year? Yes. Um, what's, I, what's your I, hunt? Well, I mean, I'm going through the two elk that I've given away a lot of it to yeah. that I shot last year. Every year I schedule two elk hunts and uh, assume I'm going to strike out. And uh, the last two years, I've been very lucky, and I got two elk each year. So. Yeah, it's breaking the rules of the secret and think and grow rich, you know, to assume you're going to strike out. Well, I— You're supposed, I, to, I, but you're I, supposed I, to sit cross-legged in your sauna and manifest that yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't—yeah, I work hard, yeah. but I assume— it's a hard thing to yeah. do, to fucking it kill is. an elk. And people don't realize. No, they don't. And if you look at a clip, like there's clips of me online, and the clip is like a minute long, and it seems like, oh, look look how easy. Yeah. You don't see stalking in for hours. You don't see <sighs> the hundreds of hours of shooting arrows, the coaching from John Dudley, all mm -hmm. the reading archery articles, and understanding yeah. what and keeping your mindset clear in the moment it's a lot of difficult it's a long haul my boys have their first hunt in three months and, what, what kind? and we've been prepping for seven months they're doing bow hunt in kona really? for pig oh yeah wow. my, my wife she's going after sheep how old the boys are going after pig they're 10 so, so are you so, getting them a crossbow no no they're right now they're shooting a hoyt ignite hmm. um they're shooting at about 25 yards just is shooting at about 40 yards and How we, many pounds we've been, we've they been prepping they're about 45 now which wow, is going to be that's, enough that's enough yeah. if you have a yeah but it, i mean they're still contact yeah, i mean they're still when they when they draw they're you know they're pointing up and pulling so right. they've still got a couple more months of training to, mm -hmm. to really get dialed in um but yeah it's it's difficult i still haven't even gotten my elk bow hunting you know i, I spent my last time i spent six days up in the colorado mountain range in the uh the um what they call it, the santa de cristo range mm -hmm. you know and and on the last day i finally came in on elk and it was dark and i shot and i missed mm. you know? and, and that was after seven freaking days of trying and you walk out or how far ride, was the shot ride your horse out completely empty-handed it's about 45 yards yeah you know in, in dusk but you know i mean you know how it goes you're, mm -hmm. you're shaking it's a little dark and yeah yeah um Anyways, though, so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do Kona. Actually, I would like uh, to get you in touch with yeah. Dudley because I know I've been in I touch know, with him. We've talked before. I know how you yeah. shoot. You shoot with a finger trigger. Yeah, I shoot with trigger. Yeah, I, I, I want shoot you with, to get shoot rid with of that true thing. fire. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I need to. It's it's on my list. But uh, because those moments like that when you you're hunted for six days and you're just trekking through the woods. 20 miles a day and you're exhausted and you finally get that one moment there's so much weight on that moment that yeah. it's so difficult to stay focused entirely on the task of executing the shot perfectly and mm -hmm. there's methods there's a guy named joel turner who has um I don't know him. Uh, he's got a, a website called iron mine hunting he's a uh, um he's a he's an instructor for um, uh, first responders and snipers and things along those lines. Iron and Mind? Iron Mind. Where does he live? I think he's a Pacific Northwest guy. Really? And uh, he's helped me tremendously. His his methods, it's all about keeping a uh, the, the difference between an open loop system and a closed loop system, being able to control it and stop it and stop the process anytime you want and keeping yourself in that versus like a baseball bat swing, which is yeah. once you start swinging, you're just swinging. Yeah. And the idea is to, to maintain the present and to, to have a mantra. And he gives you a mantra to chant and to think about it in terms of controlling all of those movements. So you are in control constantly you of your move. Well, you, you develop your own, but the idea is to talk yourself through it. Don't let your excitable mind take over. Oh, geez, go, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You, yeah. you freak out and you pull the trigger and you shoot fucking over the things back and you don't even know what happened. What's your you're, mantra? You're lost. Um, I, I pull back and I, I say draw. I, I go through all the steps in my head that I'm supposed to do. I actually modified his and went to John Dudley's. So his he has his own one which is uh, draw back and aim, get it done, watch it to keep it. And the, the whole idea is just keeping those things in your head so you have one thing. But with, with Dudley, I go through all the different things that he says, like uh, draw back, tip of the nose, center mm -hmm. the peep, center the bubble, pull through the shot, pull, 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 let the shot break. 
And so I go through all those things in my mind. But the the whole idea is to not allow the freak out. Because the freak out is what causes the target panic. And when you have that itchy trigger finger with the the finger trigger, you're like, oh. And that's, that's, I've done it. I mean, I've seen it. I've done it. I've seen it. I've heard it. Everybody does it. The the arrow goes in the spot, you know, where you're yanking it and you're pulling it. It's not very precise. You want to get it to where it's a surprise shot. Yeah. And when it's (laughs) a surprise shot, you're just concentrating entirely on the area that you want to hit on the elk your form is perfect everything's aligned in order and if it's not you let down yeah if it's not you let down and try to get your shit together yeah see those train to hunt competitions helped me out quite a bit i'm sure it's, but it's, those it's, are, it's, like, it's like a 3d shoot but you, they but put you're you running in, around in, and getting exhausted well no yeah. not not really like like they're uh they do have part of it as like that like an obstacle course race with your bow but then part of it too is just a 3d shoot Mm -hmm. like like a like a a 40 target 3d shoot where one shot might be i'm facing you but the target's behind me and you've got a 10 second time span to draw turn and shoot Mm -hmm. or you got to take a shot seated through the trees at 40 yards and then within you know 20 seconds do a shot at 60 yards See, so would it's tell a lot of hunting that, scenarios but dudley would tell you that that is going to cause target panic that that whole thing of shoot now that you yeah. should never just do that that you should always execute the shot correctly even he doesn't even like this fucking game this thing this uh yeah. techno hunt that we we've done he doesn't yeah. like that he thinks that that thing causes target panic because you mm. only have a brief window and you're like go it's like he believes that you should concentrate entirely on the correct fundamentals and execution of archery, and mm-hmm. then with time and understanding of the situation and the experience of hunting itself, then when those moments present themselves, you're going to execute correctly. Whereas when you have this like 10 second, you got to turn and behind your back, ready, go. You're like, bah! Yeah. You're just, you're just going to hit that. You're going to hammer that trigger. You're going to put that pin on the target and hammer that trigger. Yeah. And that's just you are emphasizing all the wrong things that you could do when you're hunting. Yeah. 